the Global Status Report on Road Safety 2015 indicates that at least nine people die on Uganda's roads every day. The report indicates that 2,937 people died in fatal accidents in 2013. Otuka Umane MP Anas Nyakecho today blamed the fatal accidents that recently claimed her campaign manager in Tororo to lack of road humps on highways. Vehicles also move in very high speed. And if these humps are put, I know that would control the traffic and the speed at which vehicles move. And it would also help us save our innocent Ugandans from untimely death. But the government chief whip Ruth Nankabira stand lawmakers when she said all arms on major highways across the country are going to be removed. We have to remove those arms which were put through cherry picking, diverting from the regulations. We are required to make sure that highways are respected as highways. It's unfortunate that our people have lost their lives. Nankabra says Uganda signed protocols with East African member countries to remove all harms on major highways. She says the harms slow down traffic of goods in transit as well as damaging trucks carrying goods across the region. Already our sister countries are complaining. Kenya is complaining about the harms. Rwanda is complaining. And two wrongs don't make a right. Protection of signposts is very important. Cattle crossing, zebra crossing, children crossing. It's very important. Government is thinking about a mechanism that will maintain signposts on the road. So adding harms on highways is not a solution. Nankabra was backed by Budadi West MP Nandala Mafabi, Bulisa County MP Stephen Mukitare, and Minister for State for Agriculture Bright Ramirama. We must remove hamps because even hamps are the ones causing even accidents for people who are doing business and others. We must be realistic. Hamps are really referred to as non tariff barriers. And in Uganda, when you cross into Uganda, you realize that actually we are not like our neighbors. I don't use Chivogaro, which is the shortest, and I go to Mercedes It's because of those bad hamps. However, their colleagues put off stiff flag against this proposal. Up, up. You want to protect outsiders, international travelers. When you risk the lives of Ugandans down here, what kind of country are you producing? Is Uganda for foreigners or for Ugandans? According to the Global Status Report on Road Safety 2015, more than 1.2 million people die each year on the world's roads, making road traffic injuries a leading cause of death globally. Most of these deaths are in low- and middle-income countries like Uganda. Jingo Francis, NTV, Parliament.